What constitutes a successful marriage? Hey there, my name is Sharon Pope. I am the love and relationship coach for women who are struggling in lonely and disconnected marriages, who are trying to figure out if they can stay and make the marriage work and feel good again, or if the only answer is to leave. If you like what you hear, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. So today we're talking about what constitutes a successful marriage. Now, most people believe that a successful marriage is one that lasts forever, or in the words of our vows, until death do us part. And then when a marriage ends, oftentimes we beat ourselves up because we feel like we failed. But longevity is not the only marker of success inside of a marriage. I think we've got to start thinking more broadly about what a successful marriage looks like. What about the joyful memories that you've created together as a family or on vacations? What about the lessons that you've learned as you were both just doing your best to try to love each other? What about helping one another in times of crisis, leaning on one another? You know, when, when one of you was in trouble or you lost someone that was close to you. What about helping one another grow up? For those of you that have been together since you were teenagers, you came together at a very young, naive time, but you truly did help one another grow up. And what about the human beings that this union, the two of you created, brought into the world? See, there are so many other markers for success inside of a marriage, and I think those things really matter just as much, if not more, than longevity of a marriage. I think we've got to step back from marriage and think about what is the goal? What's the goal? Because it certainly isn't, let's just see if we can endure one another so, and no one is allowed to tap out until you die. <laughs> That's not the point of marriage. I think the goal of marriage is to share your heart and share your life with someone, to carve out moments of happiness and to share struggles when life just gets to be too much. And because I think that our most intimate relationships are also our greatest teachers, I think marriage forces us to grow. It forces us to look at ourselves and to grow beyond where we are so that we can evolve and make the marriage continue to feel good as two people are constantly evolving. Now, we know the goal of marriage isn't to make us happy. Well, maybe you don't know that. The goal of marriage is not to make us happy. <laughs> That's our jobs. My job is to make myself happy. My husband's job is to make himself happy. When we put the weight of that on the marriage to do that, that's where things start to crumble. But what I would say is that if you are generally happy in your life, but you are unhappy in your marriage, then maybe it's time to go looking for what do you constitute as a successful marriage? And do you have some of these old beliefs that it's all about longevity and that's, that's what dictates whether it is successful or unsuccessful. Or maybe you could go looking for ways that your marriage, even as troubled as it might be right now, you can go looking for ways that your marriage truly has been successful. From that place, you can choose to stay or to go, but you won't do it from a place of, I'll be a failure if I choose to go. There's many ways to define success. Go looking for them. If that was helpful for you, I hope that you will give this video a like and you will subscribe to my channel. If you want to know every time a new video gets posted, you just click the bell in the upper right corner. And if you want to explore working with me in a coaching capacity, there's a link to the online application to explore that in the comments. Take really good 